we are going to do today is we're going to learn how to make our own karyotype. And a karyotype is an individual's chromosome composition. And we start looking at the karyotypes, and this is what is already done for you. Um, we, you can tell that there is um, a sort of a relationship with all these chromosomes that are lined up from 1 through 22, is that it goes from the longest, as you can see, the longest, to the shortest. And uh, we do the sex chromosomes last. So let's get started. And um, I want to show you that these first 22 pairs, um, these are called autosomes. And the last pair are the sex chromosomes. So sex chromosomes. And um, the first, when we do our own karyotype, or when you start making your own karyotype, um, just line up the chromosomes from longest to shortest first, and don't worry about the sex chromosomes. So worry about those last. Okay, so what we look for in creating our own chromosomes, or um, matching the homologous pair, is we look for the location of the centromere. And the centromere is um, this little bit of a pinch in the center of the chromosome, that's where the, cent cent the centromere is located. We also look at the uh, banding patterns, and so the banding patterns here, you can see the dark banding patterns, and you can tell the dark banding patterns in the bottom half of the chromosome, and uh, along with the darker banding patterns, four darker banding patterns following it. And, um, so we look at the location of the centromere in here. We look at the banding patterns. These are the banding patterns. And we also look at the length of the chromosome. And uh, so when we start at the first one, it's usually the easier one. So we look, lo we look for something that's, we look for the homologous pair that is the longest. And so there are two, it looks like. We have uh, this one and this one. So let's start with this one since it seems to be one of the longest ones and sometimes don't be fooled by because it, of the length of it. So we put this right next to its um, quote unquote homologous pair and we can see that it's slightly off. Um, the banding pattern of this one, there is uh, it, near the centromere, um, it's dark these areas, whereas you got this light portion here near the centromere area. And the centromere here is actually in the center uh, of the chromosome, so that's called a metacentric location. Um, and here it's slightly above, um, that's located here, it's slightly above the, the chromosome, so that's a submetacentric location. So it's not exactly the same, and the banding patterns are also very different. The other thing we were looking at is this one. So if you put it close to, right next to its um, homologous pair, you can see the uh, very the similarities. So here we have the light banding pattern around the centromere, the top portion of the chromosome, and we also have following it are the darker banding patterns. There are two, and we have a light banding pattern here, the top portion. Um, here the bottom portion, bottom half of the chromosome, we have the dark uh, banding pattern. It's not as long as um, this first one, but you got the dark one there, the dark banding pattern, and you also have one, two, three, four banding patterns following it, and at the tips you get this dark portion. So that is the homologous pair chromosome. Let's uh, look and match up chromosome number two here. Um, as you can see that we have a couple of longer ones. So we have this um, you can also work with this. We can, also, we can work with a couple of things. So we said that one of the longer uh, chromosomes was this one and this one. So let's take a look at this um, chromosome and let's line it up with that. And as you can see, um, it's slightly different. We have, um, it seems like it depends on the dye and how well the dye shows up. But um, the banding patterns are, you know, they do match. They're very similar. We got these dark banding patterns here um, in this portion, and we got this sort of uh, light. It looks like it's shown light here, but it's, um, it's got the tips that are very similar. 
but the bottom portion of it, look, take a look at that, how very similar they are. Although you can't see it in the top portion, the bottom portion you can see it's very clear that it's got the banding pattern, dark, the dark patterns here, and as well as the dark portions at the bottom tip. Uh, and the centromere location is very similar also. It's slightly above the center. This is the center. That's the, that's the uh, metacentric. And then the slightly above the center is the submetacentric location of the centromere. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and complete all these, uh, the matching areas, the matching homologous pairs from 1 to 22, and we're going to do the sex chromosomes last. So let's start um, again. We'll go back and do this one, and I'm going to do this fairly quick. And so um, this obviously is. Yeah, might be. Um, you can see that it's uh, slightly off, so it's not going to match um, because of the length of the chromosome. So let's go with this one. This is the third longest. Very, very similar here, and it's very apparent. Uh, so that's going to match. Uh, let's do this one and match it up and see. Very similar again, as you can see, um, homologous pairs. Uh, so we're gonna. It's going to stick to that. Um, and we'll do, we'll just keep going until, until we get all of it. So what I've done is I've completed this uh, karyotype, and as you can see, you can, find, you can tell the homologous pairs of each one. Some are slightly off, um, but that's okay. It's due, due to the dye that they use to um, make this, this uh, karyotype. But, um, but they are very similar. The banding patterns are similar, and so are the so are the centromeres and the lengths are also very similar. But then when you get to the last portion, which is the sex chromosome, and you have here um, its longer chromosome, and the X chromosome is usually longer, and this mystery chromosome is short. The males actually have are homologous at the tips of the chromosome, so they're actually shorter. The Y chromosome is shorter than the X chromosome. If you get female, which is XX, what you'll find is that the chromosome is very, is very much identical to the X chromosome because there are two Xs. Because this is a Y, it's homologous at the, homologous at the tip of the chromosome. So it's usually, um, it's usually shorter. And what we find here is you have completed the karyotype just as a cytogeneticist would, and you have to determine the sex of this uh, person. It's either male or female. We select male. And there you have it. You have determined that this is a male, a normal male human karyotype. Usually what we'll find is if a person has a genetic disorder of some sort, you'll either find extra chromosomes inserted in either one of these autosomes or an extra chromosomes inserted in the sex chromosomes. There are, it can happen that the person can have XXY um, or XYY or X with a deletion of a sex chromosome. Um, so it, that, it does happen, and it can happen that um, a person can have an extra chromosome in chromosome 13. That is called Down syndrome. So the total chromosome of that person is not 46, but 47. Um, and that's it for our lesson on how to make a karyotype.